what I've heard about them as a couple is that they've been living separate lives for a very long time. So they together, but they live in separate. And part of the reason why they have or they're already living separate lives and we may actually see one of the biggest divorces in Hollywood is because Jay-Z is up next to be exposed. You know that once that comes out and Jay-Z is exposed for his nefarious past, you're gonna see Beyonce divorce him. Honey, the day of reckoning is finally here with us, y'all. Beyonce and Jay-Z are putting up a united front in the media. But if word on the street is anything to go by, they're both locked in a private battle behind the scenes that may lead to divorce. Both of their teams are allegedly leaking information about what's going on, with Beyonce's team saying that she's the one pulling the plug and Jay-Z's team saying he is the one who is fed up with the relationship. Regardless of who is pulling the plug, the bottom line is a divorce is on the way, allegedly. So according to what most people have observed, you can clearly see in their eyes that Jay-Z and Beyonce are not in love, especially when it comes to Beyonce. It's like she's not into him anymore and there's really no spark in her eyes. In fact, many people are of the opinion that when Beyonce is with Jay-Z, they look more like best friends or even siblings. And you know what has fueled the rumors of a separation even further? The speech that Jay-Z gave at the Grammys. I don't want to embarrass this young lady, but she has more Grammys than everyone and never won album of the year. So even by your own metrics, that doesn't work. Think about that. The most Grammys, never won album of the year. That doesn't work. Apparently, the look on Beyonce's face said it all, and there were even reports after the speech that Beyonce was embarrassed and just wanted to leave. Actually, videos from the award ceremony showed that the Carters left right after the speech because Beyonce was allegedly uncomfortable. Child, I hate to break it down to y'all, but according to recent reports, this marriage has allegedly been broken for a long time. In fact, there have been reports claiming that Jay-Z and Beyonce have been living separately for a while now. And the rift probably happened sometime before 2014. Of course, y'all recall that after the Met Gala in 2014, footage surfaced of Beyonce's sister Solange Knowles seemingly attacking Jay in an elevator at an after party. And the rumor was that she attacked her brother-in-law because he cheated on Beyonce. At the time, the family released the following statement. There has been a great deal of speculation about what triggered the unfortunate incident. But the most important thing is that our family has worked through it. Jay and Solange each assume their share of responsibility for what has occurred. They both acknowledge their role in the private matter that has played out in the public. That is what they fed the public. But behind the scenes, things were apparently not good at all. Like Beyonce's cousins even said at the time that she was so close to filing a divorce that in 2016, they dropped Lemonade, which was literally a breakup album. But it really looked like they worked things out, with Beyonce giving Jay-Z shout outs here and there. But again, behind the scenes, Scenes, things were reportedly not so good, even though they had their twins soon after. Maybe the kids were supposed to mend things, but we all know what happens when people decide to have babies as a solution to a broken marriage. Baby, it never ends well. Now, Jay-Z and Beyonce have been able to keep up appearances for all these years, but reportedly that's gonna be hard moving forward because Jay is up next to be exposed. The Diddy style, y'all. In case y'all haven't heard, insiders are saying that Diddy has has no intention of going down alone. As a matter of fact, he has allegedly started snitching and based on reports, the next person we expect to follow suit is Jay-Z. These two have been always pretty close until recently when Diddy was exposed, but with Diddy allegedly snitching on him, it's not looking good in Jay's camp. What you need to know guys is that Jay-Z is not young. So that means that a lot of the things he did in the past are not on social media. That's why he's managed to keep things Things quiet this far, but it does not mean that people have not been spilling the tea. Let me tell y'all something. The first person who we expect to expose Jay is reportedly his dear wife, Beyonce, probably after the divorce becomes public. For starters, the timeline of when they started dating has always been sus. Well, Beyonce said in interviews that she was 18 when they first met and 19 when they first started dating. But based on folks who were around back in the day, Jay started hooking up with Beyonce when she was much younger, as young as Foxy Brown, when he hooked up with her. This was allegedly a romantical thing. It's, it's all right, I'll say alleged, but mm, we know we know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, she hit it before Beyonce. <laughs> a 
Some time back, there were allegations that Jay took Fox's V card when he was 27 and she was in her teens, and he funded her shopping trips all while paying for her hair and nail salon visits while she was still in high school. See, the thing about Jay Z is that he pays to keep things hidden from the headlines. With Beyonce, he married her, but with Foxy, there have been reports that he still pays her to keep the details of what happened between them a secret, which would explain why, when Foxy was questioned about the true nature of their relationship, she told TMZ, the atrociousness of this story sickened me to my stomach. Any and everyone involved will be contacted by my attorney. In all my years in the music industry, these are the most disgusting and disrespectful allegations I've ever experienced. This fictitious story with no audio, visual, or written interview clearly was concocted with malicious intent. But you know who Jay-Z has been unable to pay off? Rymir Sidewaite's family. Baby, Rymir has been trying for almost a decade to try and get Jay-Z to take a paternity test to prove he is his father. But apparently, Jay-Z used his power and influence to block that paternity test. Based on what Rymir spilled, his mother Wanda hooked up with Jay-Z in 1992 at his aunt's apartment in Brooklyn, New York, after Jay first picked her up in Philadelphia. And the story is that they used protection, but it failed. And other than a visit from him two weeks later, they never saw each other again. And she had no idea how to contact Jay-Z when she found out she was pregnant. In 2011, Wanda even filed a civil lawsuit in New Jersey seeking child support from Jay. But the lawsuit was ultimately dismissed because it was filed in the wrong state and was never refiled. At the time, Jay-Z's lawyer also stated that Jay was not an interested party with respect to the custody of Ramir. And since then, it's been a long battle for Ramir trying to get Jay-Z to do a paternity test. But Jay has never agreed to one. Now, according to Ramir, Jay-Z has been using his wealth and power to avoid taking a paternity test. And he revealed how he was denied a fair hearing in court because of legal mistakes and malpractice. He's even gone for his own lawyers, accusing them of colluding with Jay-Z's legal team to help him get out of taking the test. These judges, these lawyers, this 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 fraud, this collusion, who knows what it's for, money or friendships or whatever they got going on, but I can honestly say that we should never go in the courtroom feeling like we're already the and we did nothing wrong. Okay, riddle me this. What reason would Jay have to hide a child he had so long ago? He wasn't even known like that back then. And his first album hadn't even been released. So what image was there to protect? And how would him having a child back then mess up his image? Well, guess what? It's possible that Jay-Z is denying the allegations because when he allegedly hooked up with Wanda, he was 22 and she was six years younger. Do the math and you will understand why he refuses to have that DNA test done. Wanda's age when she hooked up with Jay-Z is actually something that Wanda's godmother noted when she said, I got a call from his in-house lawyer and they were very helpful and we thought we would resolve this privately. They even talked about Ramirez's music talent and whether it was a good time to put him on the record label, but he had to finish high school, so I said no. Suddenly, different lawyers got involved and their attitude completely changed. I think they realized there was more at stake for Sean given that Wanda was allegedly underage. Now y'all know, even before Diddy's cases were made public, there were interviews behind the scenes for about a year and the things that were made public were not even half of what happened. In Cassie's case particularly, Jay-Z and Beyonce were mentioned in the original document, and I don't know in what context, but they were edited out of the lawsuit. So it's possible that as we speak, there are already interviews and cases being put together, and if word on the street is anything to go by, Beyonce won't be by his side when things go down. But what do you think? Is a divorce between Bay and Jay-Z inevitable? Is Jay just counting the days before the first official case against him drops? Sound off in the comments section below.